In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom map in Google Maps that you can share, embed on your website, and use in many other ways. So I went to Google and I actually just typed in draw a custom Google Map and the first thing that shows up is the Google support for my maps. So that's the easiest way to get to this link, although I will post it into the comments below. So when you get to this page, it gives you the actual directions on how to do this. But I'm going to show you also how to do it. So you, I'm going to click on my maps and it's going to open up my earlier maps. I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new map. And then I'm going to zoom in on Los Angeles. Okay, and here is downtown Los Angeles. So let's say I just wanted to do a map of downtown Los Angeles. I will start by clicking on this little icon right here, draw a line, and I'm just going to add a line. And I'm just going to start clicking and drawing my line, and every time I click, it makes a point. So I'm just gonna draw in this basic line. And I'm not by any means saying that this is downtown Los Angeles. I'm not familiar with the area. I'm just giving you an example. So I'm going to keep going all the way around the map. And I'm going to end on the first point that I started at. There you go. Downtown Los Angeles. I can even give it a description. And save. There we go. Now I'm going to come up here and I can actually, oops, I do not want to have this layer. If you do do a layer that you don't want, you can delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. You can measure distances of areas um, there are more dis instructions on how to do that on Google My Maps. I'm really not going to get into it. If you want to add a marker, so you can notice there's some different things in here. You can uh, click on that. You can zoom in on your map, and you can pick different places. Like, for instance, maybe I want to say this is the Grand Central Market. market. And I could put their URL to their website right there. So you can add as many markers as you want. Let's add another marker. Okay, so I have my layers over here. You can delete them, you can change them, you can add them a different color if you want. Um, you can change the icon if you want. So maybe this is a something like that. Gives it a star. And let's click this one and we'll change it to purple and we'll give this one, make it green. So feel free to do those things in there. You can draw one map and then you can also add another map inside of it. So if you wanted to, you could go like this. And you could call this uh, little Tokyo. Again, right here on this section, you can change the color of it if you want. So each section can have its own color. Um, if you're doing small, let's say I wanted to do the districts of downtown LA, I would create a different map for each district. I might create one big map with all the districts inside of it as well as the individual maps. So that's gonna show you how to do everything. Um, if, and then when you're done, you can preview it. It'll show it to you. There it is. You want to make sure that you give it a name here. Rename this layer. So make sure your map is complete. And then notice when I change the color, changing the whole thing. 
so it changes the background of the highlighted area. When you're done, again, I can, let's see, preview it. Oh, it's only going to show me the other one, so let's preview again. There you go. And then when I want to share it, I can click on share, give it a, a title. And then it gives me a link to share. Right now, it's only accessible by collaborators. I'm going to change the access and make it public if I want to share it with everybody, embed it into a website, anything like that. Um, that's the most common one. I don't want to because I'm only making this example as an example, so I'm just going to put it on anyone with the link. And I only want to keep it as can view because I don't want anybody else to change it. So anyone with the link. But if you want to share it on your website or if you want to embed it on a website, you need to have on public on the web. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I can also send it to people by putting their email addresses in here and hitting send as well. And there you go. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Have a great day. Yeah.